So we are presenting data from a um, drug that hits two important targets in oncology, which is the angiogenesis and a fibroblast growth factor receptor. And this is a very potent dual inhibitor. It's a kinase inhibitor, and uh, this, uh, in comparison with other prior drugs, this is a very well-balanced kinase inhibitor. Uh, interesting thing too is that in a competitive landscape where there are many drugs uh, in this area, uh, this is a small company uh, from Finland and uh, it was very interesting the interaction and trying to help them to develop this drug from the very early beginning and the strategy uh, to try to potentiate the, difference, the differences that this drug has uh, among other competi uh, competitors or other drugs in the same field trying to find a real use for, the, for this drug. So uh, we have drugs in the past uh, that were uh, more anti-angiogenic anti and others that were hitting only FGFR. Uh, it seems that there are some preclinical work uh, showing that uh, FGFR could be a mechanism of resistance to anti-angiogenic drugs. We're using anti-angiogenic drugs for kidney cancer, for uh, colon cancer and other uh, therapies. So this is a well-known um, pathway that is relevant in cancer. So maybe hitting a potential mechanism of resistance could enhance uh, the activity of, 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 of this drug. And at the same time, there are some tumors that have genetic alterations in the pathway, FGFR, uh, FGFR pathway. And maybe in those tumors, hitting the angiogenic uh, uh, pathway will have an added benefit. So you have two different spectrum of diseases that could benefit from, a, from, this, from this drug. We have been very good responses in cholangiocarcinoma, for example, uh, where there are some, these, some of these genetic alterations, and also in kidney cancer, where the antigenic uh, uh, model is already well established. Some of these patients had already received prior antigenic drugs. We designed this session thinking uh, that most of the people, uh, when they talk about cancer therapeutics, they have in mind chemotherapies, and when they thought about targeted therapies, mostly monoclonal antibodies and small molecules. The idea of this educational session was to show to the world that the fight for cancer is actually bringing many brains to work in, uh, to, to fight back and there are many other initiatives, many other drug classes that look very promising. So uh, what we are discussing in that session is uh, different classes of drugs, uh, very innovative. Uh, some of them are antibody drug conjugates, some of them are synthetic peptides or synthetic uh, small molecules. Even the use of uh, viruses or bacteria to fight cancer. So novel ways of considering cancer therapeutics. Um, so we will be discussing some specific drugs, but mostly the idea is to show the different platforms, the different classes of drugs to fight cancer.